But the migrants are now being warned they can no longer stay, but will be offered accommodation in other parts of France if they seek asylum. Groups who support the migrants in Calais were invited to a meeting with the authorities here in Arras. That's about an hour outside of Calais. I think that was a very deliberate move to avoid any protest by the migrants and to try to take the heat out of what has become an increasingly volatile situation. Many immigrants believe it's France that's stopping them getting across the Channel and that they are awaited and will be welcomed in England. It's vital the British authorities explain to them that they are not expected in England and that what France is offering is the solution. The authorities say enough is enough. In April, BBC South East revealed how some migrants were prepared to climb onto lorry axles to get to Britain. Last month, French riot police oversaw the demolition of illegal camps in Calais. A week ago, the hunger strike began. Many, though, insist they don't trust France's offer of help. They promised some promises. They've broken their promise. How can we trust them? But they say, claim asylum in France, they will look after you. We don't, we don't want to. One Kent MP says Britain will offer advice, but not asylum. Well, I'm speaking with the Home Office today, and uh, I think we should really have officials working with the French, going and speaking to the migrants, and getting that message over as a, a joint message coming equally from the French and British governments. That message, this, will no longer be tolerated. Simon Jones, BBC South East Today, Calais.